Alex, welcome to my channel. I am, um, I've just walked down to a bit of this pasture here where I've had a few coins, um, sixpences in the last episode, you would have seen them, um, but and stuff like that. So uh, it looks like it might be a bit of a hot spot for some reason. I'll stick the um, Deus in the hot program, 17 kilohertz, uh, with the 13 inch coil, and I'll see you on the first decent hole. <laughs> Right, well my first decent find is this. I've had a like a bit of pipe. But this is I think this is my second hole. It's decent signal, it's quite deep, as you can see. Um not a really super high tone but uh, good enough I, I don't know what that is if i'm honest i've tried brushing it i can't get much off it it's about the size of a farthing but i'm not sure that it is there's a pattern on that side i'll get that under the microscope microscope magnifying glass when i get home and i'll show you a picture try and find out what that is hmm, not sure i'm gonna have a look at this one even though the tone is not particularly high Give me 75. XY screen looks okay. It's um, got a bit of a squiggle to it. Right, I'm not sure I've pinpointed that right, so I'll come back to you in a sec. Bit of lead. Well, would you listen to this and look at this in a minute? 92. Sounds nice, doesn't it? You can just see it on the surface there of this clod. Right, hang on a minute. Hi. So, uh, looks like a sixpence. Looks like it might be in an okay condition. Um, yeah, I've only been going, I don't know, 15 minutes. So this little patch here is um, looking quite good. Right, let me, let me spin you around, put it in a close-up mode, and let's see what it is. Right, here we go. You can just see it there. So it was lodged down there. I just gave this clod a bit of a knock with my spade when I realized the signal was still in the clod. And uh, if camera, will you do me the honors of focusing? There you go. There you go, it looks like a sixpence. I can see 1918, which would explain why it's in decent condition and not completely battered. Let's get you in the light and see if that helps my camera focus. Thank you very much camera, it's nice of you to turn up. Right, so that'll be George V. And that is a nice little 100% silver sixpence. Flipping egg. Right, there you go, focus. I'll, uh, I'll clean it up, I'll show you a picture, but that's a good start, isn't it? Not bad at all. I was about to throw this in with the rubbish in my pouch because I had it like that. I thought oh, it was just a square of lead. Or a rectangle rather, I turned it over, there's loads of writing on the back. It was giving me like a 71, 72 medium tone with a bit of a scratch to it. So I took a chance on it because it was consistent and sounded okay. I don't know what that is, I'm guessing like something for for printing, like uh, stamping your stamp on there. Oh well, if I read it backwards. Something, the working, something largest building society. Okay, <laughs> that needs a little bit of research. Right, I'll um, I'll try and find out what that is. All right, this was giving me a nice solid 92, quite high. Some sort of tag or token. 
Maybe it's a miner's token. 820, I think that says on there. Right, let's give that a brush off and see if I can see any more detail. Uh, might just be off a bit of machinery, which is a bit poor if it is. I mean, usually there's some detail on it to say what uh, mine it was from, but that just says 880, I think. I can't see any other writing on there. Mm, there might be, it's difficult to tell. Right, I'll clean it up, I'll show you a picture if there is. Right, there's a little, like a couple of square metres around there, but it's just loads of signals, and that is a farthing. As usual, massive signal. Thought it was going to be a lump of rubbish. But it's not so far, I think, so let's uh, concentrate around there because there's clearly stuff going on. Right, I know I keep saying it, but sometimes these positive targets, I just think, oh, that's going to be a can. It was, this was a huge signal, really loud. The XY screen goes from the bottom left to the top right, 90, 90 on the VDI. I think it's a half penny. I'm not going to get much off that, I don't think, but let's give it a little rub on the knee. Yeah, George the, George the fifth, half penny. Huge signal. This was a huge signal as well. Another half penny. Uh, yeah, definitely a little hot patch around there. I'm not walking very far before I get another decent signal and another coin. Oh, that one's bad though. Yep, can't see nothing on that. Is my next little thing. So it giving me 92. Down to 79, because I think there's a little bit of iron in it. It's a buckle. It's not an old one, I don't think. You can just see the pin there, which is probably made of iron, which is why you're getting that slightly lower VDI as well. Yeah, it's probably early 1900s to World War II sort of area, like everything else here. Right, pretty sure there's another coin in here. 81. Nice loud signal. I think it's a copper. I can just see it poking out the clod here. Yeah. It's like a half penny, doesn't it? Yep. George the fifth again. Yeah. Big loud signal, no missing that one. I don't know what it is. It's not a coin, I don't think. If it is, it's a foreign one. Oh, there's some writing around the edge there. Uh, victory or something? So, some sort of token. Yeah, I'll clean it up, try and find out what that is. Right, I'm gonna call it a day there. I just spent 20 minutes talking to the landowner next door. I didn't ask him about detecting because uh, I didn't wanna bother him. If he, I'm here all the time. If he wants me to do it, he'll ask me. If I keep getting friendly with him, I might pop the question as it were. But anyway, that was a, that was a nice little hunt. A few interesting things. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you, thought it was, if you thought it was crap, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. If you're out, good luck. Catch you later.